What's happening, food surfers? We're at the Fuji supermarket in Japan. Let's grab a bite to eat, shall we? Oh, here we go. Bento heaven. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful bentos. That looks really good. Mm -hmm. Grab some of these. A pumpkin salad. That looks delish. Three different types of greens with sesame. Nice. Can't go wrong with some bamboo shoots. Mm-hmm. How about a custard pie for dessert? Oh yeah. Corn pizza for the win? I think so. We're in Japan, gotta have some fish. Good, go eat. Hiking course guide. All right, let's go up the hill. Entering the bamboo forest. Goodness, bamboo madness. This looks like a pretty good spot right here. Yep, let's do it. We can tripod the camera right there. Got this little basket in the shop, but that'll work. Let's see what we got here. Fuji supermarket, total price is 2,256 yen. That is, the exchange rate right now is like 130 yen to the dollar. So the, the yen is really weakened. That's about 15 bucks maybe. Yeah, it's a good time to come to Japan. This right here is a combo pack, which has three things in it, three greens. Looks like green beans, some spinach, and okra. We'll start with the green beans. And the coating on these is sesame, which is nice. It gives it, gives it a nuttiness and a, a flavor. Oh yeah. Mm. It's a good way to eat veggies. Oh yeah. Looks like some spinach and carrots here. Same mixed with tons of the sesame. Mmm, all oh, good. Lots of flavor. No vinegar, which is nice. Yeah, just I love the nuttiness of sesame seeds. And then okra here, gooeyness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love me some okra. And I didn't used to like it. That's the thing about okra. You know, getting used to the gooey texture. The next one here is called takinoko, which is bamboo shoots. Looks like this. Yep, love me some takinoko. And it's in season right now. So it's fresh. Yep, the little baby bamboos are sprouting up all over the place. And it's got bonita flakes on it. So that adds a little bit of flavor. But yeah, all going in. Mmm. A little bit of crunch, but pretty soft. That is tasty. Oh yeah, fresh bamboo shoots for the wing. Mm-hmm. I've got one more little salad here. Forgot about this one. This is the pumpkin salad. Had to get this. It's got the pumpkin seeds in it as well, too. That's pretty rare to have pumpkin seeds in your pumpkin salad. <laughs> you don't see it very often. This is actually Japanese squash, but it's called pumpkin, too. In the squash family. Oh, it's sweet. In a nice way. Really sweet. I think it's got some cream. Got some fresh cream infused into it, adding the sweetness. Nice crunch of the seeds. Oh, that's delish. Wow. 
this is the best pumpkin I've had in a long time. And it's just smashed pumpkin. That's all it is, mixed with some sweet cream. Mmm. Yep, the skin and everything. Oh, it's good. I'm gonna have to finish this. Japanese pumpkin for the win. Next, we have some shumai dumplings. These are really cute. Had to get these mini dumplings right here. Yep, and I think I've got some show you here somewhere. Have I shown you the show you lately? There it is, the packet show you soy sauce. Always a challenge to find out where the place is you open it. There it is. It helps to look first. All right, let's drench it. Oh, looking good, looking good. Nicely charred, so it's gonna be some crispiness on the top there. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's hearty. Hearty meaning there's a heaviness to it. Thick. I can taste the pork inside. Mm-hmm. Nice toughness to the outer layer here, which is good because a lot of times they're just boiled and really soft, but it's nice to have a bit of chew to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. These are banging. I can give you the cross section. All right, there. That one's opened up. Pretty tasty. Mm. And whenever you're shopping at the supermarket, don't forget the fish. There are so many different types of fish. These are dried fish. And the name of this is wakasagi. Introducing wakasagi fish, dried fish. These are gorgeous looking, huh? That might be the thumbnail right there. That's a fishy thumbnail right there. All right, going in. Oh, loving the texture. And there's, it's really sweet. It's in a, oh, this sauce is, it's, it's like it's candied. Yeah. Not bony at all. Really soft. A bit of crunch in the head and the tail. But, oh, lovely flavor. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Doesn't taste like fish at all. Thanks more like jerky. It's that kind of texture. There's a, a toughness and a, like a chewiness to it. Mm -hmm. No boniness at all. Did I say that already? Soft. Oh, oh it's good. Powerful. Let's try something a little Western style next, shall we? How about some corn pizza? No, it's not Western if it's got corn on it, is it? Yep, corn and looks like hot dogs, some mayonnaise, cold pizza. Get some. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not bad for cold pizza. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that creamy mayonnaise. The first time I tried corn pizza and mayonnaise together in Japan, I was just disgusted. But now I actually like it. They go together. It's got a nice crust to it. Pretty thick crust pizza. Good flavor. I like the uh, tomato sauce. The corn gives it a bit of a crunch for whatever that's worth. <laughs> but good dough. It's got a chewiness to it. That's what's nice about it. Mm -hmm. It's got some volume. Whereas most pizza in Japan, it's thin crust. Not much to it. More like a cracker. Mm. Incoming cow piss soda. All right, let's get into it. Oh yeah, cow piss soda, everybody. Haven't had this in a while. It's a live one. It's like tastes like cream soda. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sweet. It's got a creaminess to it, a nice milky creaminess. Yep. Cow piss soda, lovely. Probably been a year since I've had it. Did we save the best for last? A little mini bento. This is a $3 bento, is that right? $3.98, yeah, maybe 
three dollars fifty cent I'm really interested in this fish right here I like that, that fried fish on top mm. oh good tartar sauce on top that is a beautiful piece of fried fish that tastes really good much better than the little candied things I just had oh there's another shumai a dumpling let's go for this instead this is I believe a chicken ball meatball meatball mm -hmm. chickens over here oh what do we have here some gobo root mm -hmm. kimpira gobo got carrots mixing it too and a shoyu sauce Mm, got some egg. Egg with something in it. Interesting looking. Oh, that's good. What is that flavor? Can't really pinpoint it, but it's nice. Got a chicken nugget here. Fried chicken. Pretty tasty. Mm-hmm. I've had better, but that's not bad. Bit of nori and rice, nori seaweed and rice. Anything else here? Yes, we got a fish cake here. Chewy, chewy. It's a good little bento lunchbox. Yep, not bad, Japan. How about some dessert food? This is a custard pun, custard bread. I love me some Japanese custard. Yeah, it's got a richness to it. There it is, it's got the X on it. X marks the spot, going in. It's really a, a custard Danish, it looks like. It's gonna be sweet, I can tell. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, this is really good. Mmm, it's more like a pie. It's very moist and sweet. Oh, oh goodness. It reminds me of the Hawaiian sweet bread. And the custard on top is just, oh, that's mm, fantastic. And we'll finish off with some crunky almond here. Love these chocolate covered almonds. Mm. Oh. Crunkies are a little different. There's a crunchiness to it inside. Somehow. The almond is crunchy. And it's a dark chocolate. Oh, it's good. Rich. Wash it down with some cow piss soda. <sighs> and that's the meal. That is gonna do it for this one. So there it was, the Fuji supermarket in Japan. On my rating scale, between one and six of the airheads, I'm gonna go five out of six. It's pretty close to six, but hey, supermarket food, good prices, the whole lot, all the stuff was about $15, $16, so you can't beat that. I'm definitely going to be taking some stuff home with me and eating it later. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading those comments. See you in the next one.